what's going on everybody i'm back again with another vlog and today i'm going to be exploring a neighborhood that i've never been but i've been researching a little bit about the neighborhood and it's pretty nice and it's called flatbush here in brooklyn new york and i heard there's like a lot of beautiful houses around a lot of residential areas and nice neighborhoods like the ones i'm walking around beautiful streets i'm in ocean avenue so i'm gonna walk a little bit deep down south this is like right below Plaza park in brooklyn so we're gonna walk around and see what the neighborhood has to offer so join me so like i say this street down walking here is ocean avenue and so far it's beautiful you can see like a lot of apartment complex like there's a lot of trees surrounded by trees so i'm probably gonna walk a couple of more blocks and then make a right and check out streets like this one like little small streets so i know you're gonna see like a lot of beautiful houses around you don't know here i like how nicely decorated they got the trees over here well not the trees but like the plants with this apartment and there's just more apartments over here but i think i'll walk to church avenue and then make a right and go just around a random street and i think i'm gonna end up like in a residential area but yeah like a lot of people tell me this area was beautiful but i never knew about it until i came here to check it out and it's true Over here is like a little main street uh church avenue a lot going on here and i think one of my impressions is uh there's a lot of people from the west indies like jamaica trinidad but i like the vibes you know mostly like a caribbean feel and you can see like a lot of nice restaurants over here a lot of nice spots some places are closed other places are open but i think the neighborhood little by little is starting to change like I said, this is my first time walking around here, but so far I'm loving it. I'm loving the vibes around here. It feels pretty cool. And then, I mean, you got like a market. It's a nice looking market. I mean, take a little peek over here. And then over here, you see some developments going on, like brand new apartments, then Mister with all this, with the vegetables and the fruits. You see a lot of people purchasing, doing the groceries. And there's a couple of meat markets right across the street. More little markets over here. So I guess this is like a market strip over here. Markets after markets. It's like a little bit of everything. Like I say, one thing I love about New York City is that you just walk around, you know, you walk outside and you just find something interesting, you find something interesting happening, so it makes it pretty good. Yeah, this past the deli, then here's the flower shop, so pretty cool. So I'm walking around 18th Street, I believe, and you can see it's just surrounded by a lot of apartments. Kind of resembles a little bit the Bronx, New York, but I know if I keep walking a little bit deep further, it's gonna start turning beautiful with a lot of beautiful houses and stuff like i heard there's some historic mansions happening around here but yeah pretty much now like local probably walk a couple more blocks make another right to the main street and then i gotta keep going deep down further to the end of the neighborhood of flatbush but so far not a bad neighborhood There are a lot of places that you're gonna see in New York City. Just to get if you're trying to look for a way to find an apartment, this is like one example. They got like different web pages, but also you could do this. You got for rent and the phone number, so they got studios, one, two, and three bedroom apartments. And it says for booking areas, so it's not just this apartment over here. I guess they got like multiple, multiple locations, so you just gotta call them and figure out like your budget and what they got around, what you're looking for. So that's like one example of how you wanna find like an apartment in New York City. Then another thing that I suggest when you look for an apartment, not only look at the neighborhood in the daytime, maybe try to take a peek in the nighttime because sometimes some of the neighborhoods, their vibe changes. I also do like Google, but some of them, you know, they stay the same, but sometimes in the nighttime it's a different story. But so far, I think this neighborhood is pretty nice. You know, I can see how nice it looks, quiet. And then right ahead of me, I see like a nice, beautiful, brand new apartment. So you could tell that they're trying to change the neighborhood a little bit. So here you see a sample of what I'm talking about, this brand new, it's not even finished yet but they're building it right here with all this other buildings and they already got a sign you know for sale so yeah you can start seeing how it changes 
and then I'm walking here and there's the street ahead of me called Beverly Street or Beverly Road and then I think after this street is when things start to get pretty interesting and it changes you can start seeing how the trees are over there like a beautiful church and then it's just like a neighborhood full of trees so I think that's where you're gonna start seeing all the houses so I just cross the street and like I say this is where it turns pretty residential it kind of has a little vibe of Crown Heights but I gonna see how different it's gonna change when I keep walking forward like I would never fall like around here in this area of Brooklyn it would just end up like this I don't know it kind of also has like a Forest Hills vibe in it you know all these beautiful houses in the trees I just gotta say wow it makes me feel like I'm walking in my dad's area in New Jersey or in some areas like in Bay Ridge like just <laughs> Look at this. I would never thought that this was some flatbush. Like it makes you feel like you're in the suburbs, but this is like the heart of Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, this is amazing. I like the way how the houses are over here. It's pretty nice. And this over here is like another main street in Flatbush. Cortel U Road. There's a couple of blocks down. Not as busy as the other street I was walking, but there is things happening around here. So I'm probably gonna walk a couple more blocks and then make my left and keep walking a little bit more south of the neighborhood. So I just saw on Google Maps like some pretty interesting uh, houses around. Here they got like a Walgreens or a Rain and Reed. And then a laundromat right here. A pharmacy, cleaners, liquor store, a deli. Then ahead of me is a subway line, the Q, the Q train. And it passes right here. You can actually see over there it goes all the way to Coney Island. It's a pretty interesting neighborhood. There's more happening on in the other side, like barbershops. That's the entrance right there. And as I was walking there, I had to make a little detour over here because this street looks really beautiful. And you know you see an apartment here, that been, but then you walk forward over here and there's just houses. Like you can see like a suburb feel in the middle of the city, you know. I gotta say it's pretty crazy how you walk in Main Street and there's so much going on, but then you end up in a street like this. Like it's pretty hidden. Look at the street. It looks like a, look at this house. It looks like a like a lighthouse. And the fall season, to be honest, today is the first day of fall. So like in a week or two, I know the leaves are gonna start turning red, so it's gonna be beautiful. up in another quiet street I know it's a little bit windy but I'm gonna walk forward all the way to the end and you got like some nice apartment complex over here and to my left hand see more so also they got like bike lanes over here so it's pretty convenient for you if you're riding a bike but let's see what the neighbor has to offer ahead of me so I gotta say one of the things that impressed me at the neighbor is not really just the trees but it's the fact how huge the trees are, like they're pretty tall. Like I've been to many neighborhoods around New York and Jersey and they do have trees but they're not as tall as the ones that you see around here. Like it's pretty beautiful, you know. You can see how tall these ones are. You cannot see it like that big in the camera, but yeah. I love how peaceful and quiet the neighborhood is. The house, like I say, it has that little vibe of the Forest Hills. And not only in Queens, in Newark, New Jersey, there's a section also called Forest Hills. And it looks just like this too, like beautiful houses with trees, so, so yeah. As so I'm walking over that way, I make a little turn over here because I see like a little hidden gem. Look at this. It's really beautiful, all this apartments. It's not something that I would have never knew it was around here in Brooklyn, especially Flatbush, but yeah. It's gorgeous, you know? I like it. It feels like you're in Germany or somewhere else. Like the houses, the details, the different colors. One thing really crazy about this is that a lot of people who are not from New York or from around the area, they think that New York City is just buildings, skyscrapers. But no, this is not even far from Manhattan. And you walk around here and it's just like, you know, suburbs, a lot of beautiful houses around here with trees, a lot of nature and stuff. So it proves you, you know, how diverse the area is. 
and I'm just walking around this beautiful street here called Flatbush Mall. So yeah, I think I'm gonna explore a little bit around here, see what, what it has to offer. It's crazy how there's not too many people walking around here. Only a couple of people then ahead of me. I think it's like a dead end road, but I think that's like where the subway line passes by, so I'm gonna see what's ahead of me. Actually, there's no connections behind me. It's pretty much a dead end road, a dead end road. So I'm just gonna walk back and make a turn on the other side. Another thing I noticed is that there's a lot of South Asians in this neighborhood, but it's pretty cool. Just look at it, you know, all the trees. I think it's beautiful. Just look at the street. 360 view, all full of trees. 17th Street. So I'm gonna walk, I think, all the way to Avenue H, then make a left, walk a little bit more forward to see what's going on, and then I'm probably gonna wrap up the video. But yeah, so far I've been really impressed with Flatbush. But everything, the houses, the neighborhood, the diversity of the neighborhood, the people. So actually, even in Brooklyn, you can get like a suburb feel not too far from the subway train and not too far from Manhattan. I really love the houses here, it's so beautiful. Look at this one. It's like a lighthouse or a church, right? So here I am in Avenue H. I'm gonna walk forward to see what's going on. I think Brooklyn College is right there. The Q train is right behind me and then if I keep walking forward to be the 2 and the 5 train but let's see what's happening. I think there's a couple of parks around here. So far you can see really beautiful neighborhood. Trees and everything. I can start seeing how the leaves are turning a little bit like red but yeah. So I'm walking around here and to my right hand is the beginning of Brooklyn College. This is a pretty famous university around here in Brooklyn and Flatbush. It keeps going all the way down there. But since it's like a private university, I don't think there's no way you can just walk in and shoot pictures. But I'm just gonna walk around, see what's going on around here, you know. So far it's been pretty lovely, you know, pretty lovely neighborhood, Flatbush, Brooklyn. There's another section also called East Flatbush. And yeah, maybe another day I'll check it out. So this is a view of the Brooklyn College. It's like a mixture of old buildings with modern buildings. Then it goes to the other side of the street. So you guys like different section surveillance, there's more ahead. You can see it's pretty small, but uh, pretty interesting. So that was the end of my videos going flat bush of Brooklyn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there, everybody. God bless y'all and peace.